Do you truly know your mother's story? Like, where is her favorite place to travel? What was it like when she was a teen? Or her favorite memory with her childhood friend? One mom took it upon herself to write a series of time capsule journals sharing your loved one's story, with one of them being catered to mother figures just in time for Mother's Day. Melissa Pinnell is the author behind the journal, Questions You'll Wish You Asked, and she's here to share why she thinks it's important to have these conversations. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Desiree. It's so great to be here and so close to Mother's Day. Too. Yes, yes, agreed. So close to Mother's Day. And Melissa, I wanted to ask you, what inspired you to create this series of time capsule journals? Yeah, well, I mean, it was really inspired by grief. Uh, my mom died really unexpectedly in my late 20s. And in a, the same few years, I lost every grandparent, every elder. And I really longed for so many answers that I hadn't even thought questions I hadn't thought to ask when they were still alive. And then I started having kids myself and I started to think, well, what if I wrote down my answers? I can still do that, like answers for my kids. And then it became a journal and became me telling and encouraging everyone I encounter to talk to their parents and their elders while they still can. Yeah, it's beautiful. Through this tragedy, you were able to create something for people to remember and honor their loved ones. And I wanted to ask you, what are some great conversation starter questions people can ask their moms this Mother's Day through one of your Time Capsule Journal books? Yeah, I'm, I mean, they might sound simple, but there's so many things I think we think we know about our loved ones, but then asking them to expand on these stories can be such a just juicy conversation. So. Some places to start with mom on Mother's Day is just asking her, how did becoming a mom change you? And just see what she says. Um, I'll go through a couple of them. I think another one that's really, especially if your mom's willing to reflect, asking if you could start again, is there anything you would change about how you raised me? Mm -hmm. um, another great one, is what about how you raised me makes you really proud? Because asking, you know, what would you change can bring up some thoughts of like, oh gosh, I did this, I wish I hadn't. But I bet mom is really proud of some stuff that she overcame, giving her a chance to shine there. Um, asking her about her childhood, I think that is that is really important because it can open this box that isn't, I mean, you might ask her a question like, mom, what was a dream you had when you were a kid? And she might have an answer that it's sort of like a peek into her as a kid and maybe yeah. who, who she was before yeah. you. That's what I really like about your time capsule journals is I thought I knew everything about my mom, but when I'm looking through your journals, there's a lot in there that I'm like, I don't know these, these sentimental stories that my mom may have, especially like you mentioned, when she's a child. So the fact that people can touch into that is great. And what do you suggest for people whose mom might have already passed away before they could ask these questions? Yeah, so for people like myself whose moms are gone and it's so, just amazing to see a picture of my mom flash across my screen yeah. because she's how all of these started mm -hmm. is that if we have kids we can answer these questions for them and I think there's this alchemizing of grief that happens when you sort of take an action in that pain and maybe you don't have kids but you probably know and love a mom and you also might know someone else who you can either ask these questions of or answer these questions for there's actually a version of the journal for every relationship, grandparents. I'm actually just making one for mentors and special relationships yeah. for people we might not even be related to. Mm -hmm. So aunts and uncles, because we all have these really rich life stories. And there's also this gift in, in telling them that can sort of show you more of who you are in the process. So it's I think it's a two way street answering and asking. Yeah, and for Mother's Day, I mean, what would you say, what if you have a tense relationship with your mom? How do you know what questions to ask her? Yeah, I think that that's really common. I think real in, in real life, still living relationships can be really tense and hard and messy. And if you want to, if this feels safe, asking questions like this, really getting out of your relationship and asking mom about her, maybe her before you, mm -hmm. like a interesting and very simple one is, mom, did you have a favorite toy as a kid? And if she did, you know, maybe she'll have a story about it. And maybe that story, even in a tense relationship can reveal a little bit about, you know, like, like my only companion when X, Y, Z, like you never know what kind mm -hmm. of conversation will start from these. You could ask her um, something like, what kind of music did your parents listen to? And and get information, paints it a bigger picture. We yeah. start to see people as 
not so one dimensional, not just your mom who's right. kind of crabby and judgmental of your life, you know, yeah. however the reality might be for you. Yeah, being able to touch on that personal level. Melissa, thank you so much for joining us this morning to create a closer bond with mom. Visit followyourfirecoaching.com.